Hello, my name is Pavel Kosov. I work in Research Center of Huawei in developers, uh, compiler developers team. We tackle a lot of interesting tasks uh, for improving compilers from various areas, and uh, I'm going to talk about one of the areas of, of such tasks, uh, LLVM-based profile guided optimization is what I'm going to talk about today. So this is the agenda of the presentation. First, we start with a definition, description of our optimization, and we will give the main terms. Then we'll look at the details, implementation details in different compilers, and then we'll go to visual related works and research. And then at the end, we will look at the ways of uh, visual improvement so first let's answer a question why Huawei is doing this, why Huawei is interested in such research uh, profile guided optimization. The answer is very simple. The thing is that Huawei has uh, a large number of mobile devices of so various models and this is a very competitive market. Huawei should provide for should provide the best uh, product and as one of the solutions uh, here for this task is using profile guided optimization so what is profile guided optimization also known as feedback driven optimization so these are equal terms Actually, this is not optimization in its uh, narrow compiler sense, but it's an approach towards optimization, an approach where compiler is using data profile of a program to change their heuristics, not to rely on its heuristics, but to use the profile data. By profile, we mean data of a user scenario, how users really utilize a, a program. So here we need to consider two points. First, of course, we can optimize for our scenario we uh, give to the compiler and it'll be a more beneficial one than without optimization. But uh, we need to consider that it'll become more effective uh, uh, through the fact that other scenarios uh, will be worse. So what can be the paths of collecting this profile information. Actually, there are two ways, instrumentation and sampling. As for instrumentation, we will look at the uh, LLVM example, because all the devices that are made by Huawei are based on Android, and Quant is the main compiler of this um, system. Well, Instrumentation is installing a code at the compilation stage. And instrumentation takes place in three stages. The first stage is um, compiling the program with F profile generate file and the program inserts the code. Second is program execution and after that there will be prop data file generated and third stage is dealing with compilation with profi f profile use flag well everything looks well but it's not clear what code should be inserted but here it is so what are the codes the, the, first of all these are counters Counters will help us understand how frequently the needed um, sections of the code are implemented. So we can integrate it into every um, part of the code, but it's too much of overhead. Therefore, the clunk is using the, this approach in order to reduce the number of inserted counters. So the uh, We add it to the entry point, then we perform calculation of minimal spanning tree and the execution flow graph, and we also add counters to edges which are not in minimal spanning tree. The clang also inserts probes. What are probes? Probes actually is an array of values 
and Clunk allows to add probes to indirect call addresses and to functions parameters. So that's true only for memcpi and memmove and memset. So they are instrumented, they are saved. Sampling. Well, sampling takes place in three stages as well. Sampling is different from instrumentation in the sense that compilation is not inserted and it's um, collected with a third party utility. So the first phase is compilation with debug information. Next. The program is executed with profiler, the data is collected, and the third stage is similar to instrumentation is compilation with prof data file. So in a nutshell, how sampling works. So here you go. This is a very high level description and in the reality everything is much more like sophisticated, but profiler stops the program with user provided frequency so it collects information from hardware counters and it compares it with the current instruction of profile program profiler can collect a lot of different information like CPU cycles instructions cache misses context switching and many other but the compiler is not using all of this. Compiler uses several samples for instructions. So why do we need two methods of receiving or two methods of profile data receipt? Why do we need them? Let's look into their glads and sets. What the, are the advantages of instrumentation? So that's the accuracy and determinism of the result. And on top of that, this is the ability to determine indirect call addresses and functions parameter values. Advantages of sampling are slow overhead and ability to collect information from hardware counters. So we look here into what is actually our target, what program has to be reprofiled, right? So we've looked into profile-guided optimization. Let's compare how PGO is implemented with other compilers, for example, with the Microsoft compiler. Clang generates a set of counters and probes per each function individually. So for every function, there is a set of counters and functions. And or probes, and regardless of what function is going to call the test function, it's going to set to change the overall counter set. When the program is over, we will get some total or cumulative profile without any link to what function was increasing what. So the Microsoft compiler creates a separate set of counters per each specific calling function, which uh, allows to do a more accurate partial aligning. Then this is really cool. Another is comparison with Intel compiler. The Intel compiler allows to get a more detailed instrumentation. It allows to collect the number of um, um, iterations of loops, so iterations count for loops and also CPU cycle inside functions and loops. On top of this, the Intel C compiler has a very detailed fine grain setup and it's possible to switch it off. This slide shows some recent projects and developments I have picked two projects that I have used in that were used in production and two research 
projects, but I need to do that. There are much more researches and projects that I have listed here in this slide. The first project, the BOLT, the Facebook framework, which allows to change the position of function inside the application using call chain clustering algorithm. The call chain clustering is an improved Pettis Hansen algorithm, which is being used for past 30 years. And in 2013, the Facebook developers have improved it. And this is the Bolt framework, which is uh, showing very good results. So the Google guys have seen the Bolt success and they have tried to use it in their applications but that was not exactly matching their needs because Bolt is uh, um, not uh, covering distributed applications which is important for Google therefore they have enhanced Bolt they called it Propeller as for researchers an interesting publication is gen genetic optimized algorithm that was developed thanks to DARPA grant. And this is the optimizer which allows to change the software in such a way that it uh, consumes uh, a minimum of energy, minimum of power, and it's done thanks to execution profile and compilation parameters. Another interesting research project is Code Stitcher, which is was completed in 2011, granted by Huawei and IBM. And this is something like Bolt equivalent, but Bolt works at the function level, whereas Code Stitcher works at the basic block code level, which allows to get a more accurate get into cache instructions and it, this is the research project which is not in production and it still has some, a number of constraints so as we see there is a number of researches ongoing about PGO capabilities and a lot of more like tasks can be tackled with that the number of counters is not optimal so if we will uh, enhance the analysis of control dependence flow, then we will reduce the number of counters and reduce the overhead of on instrumentation because right now it's quite high and can go up to 300 percent depending on the application. So call chain clustering algorithm which is implemented currently in the experimental party and it is um, underpinned by many heuristics. We can fine-tune them so that we are not um, harshly linked to hard code values. What's the clank currently missing and other compilers are missing is profiling of hot paths um, inside the functions as they are called BB vectors. So if we had information about what path was uh, implemented with what frequently, frequently, then we could have come up with better optimization solutions. But, and if we could link the BB vectors with the call points, then we will see that in every point there are hot paths And this is also a good thing to, that can help improve optimization. So this information is the, you can be used in order to change the code layout, to reduce uh, code size. It's also good in terms of providing for function specialization. So the re, as for code size reducing, we can apply different sets of optimization for called hot functions. And just to wrap up, let me add a couple of words about what are our upcoming plans and tasks. 
We want to reduce number of data cache misses. We want to do it in such a way so that Clang can tune the levels of instrumentation, and we want to show the, prof the CPU cycles. Another thing is that a lot of has to be um, like uh, improved in optimization. This is the link which can guide you to versatile projects uh, written or developed by IBM guys. So there are many projects of the like thesis level or uh, some more like longer term research. So if you are interested or if you like to go ahead and check more details so we, we are also very open, and if you want to exchange some knowledge or want to ask questions, you always can address them to us. Thank you. Actually, we can um, run a lot of optimization efforts, and if we have carefully selected the taste testing scenario, then optimization can be really substantial for the application. It will, can influence the response time of application and its general productivity.